it got hairy. Both of us nearly died in that little section. So, uh, kind of begins one of those things. Wait till all three of us or something else, so we have uh, more uh, air support, anti-air support. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's one of the white bombers just uh, dis dipping behind a hill. Mm -hmm. And uh, I I've put in these. Uh, glass panes as opposed to glass blocks and uh, it leaves a little crack above it kind of like uh, fence posts do yeah and uh, so I've had to like I've had to put nether rack above the top of it because gas were still able to see me and fire through and break all the panes so uh, knowing what I know now I probably would have put in glass blocks instead but uh, I, I, I just can't you know, find myself to break all those. <laughs> well, you could actually put the glass blocks where you put the nether up, right? That's, and that, yeah, that's know. true too. Yeah, just put it on top of it. That's very true. Yeah. Very true indeed. That way, I'd still have the uh, openness to it. But uh, yeah, that's and see here, I actually put in double panes. Put a pane on top just to kind of help out. But Ouch. I'm, I'm kind of waiting because I mean I'd already made them. I went out and into my desert and just dug and dug and dug. You know, I had like four furnaces going almost, you know, for a full hour of just converting glass. I have to admit, that's one of the things I miss the most about mainly LPing when I play Minecraft now, is just the relaxing of doing nothing other than boring mining, you know, yeah. um, zoning out while you do it. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I'm, you know, I started my Swamp Wise, my uh, Series 2, and I'm kind of kind of thinking like you are. I'm tempted just to, to I mean, I want to keep playing it because I love the Swamp that I generated in, but at the same time, I'm tempted to wait till the uh, 1.2 drops so I can hopefully get some jungles. Yeah, well, I think you should just play until 1.2 drops and then start. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, that, that, that's your house, isn't it? Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, and then just start again. I, I'm even considering starting just a small LP or something until because it seems to be taking forever. I've been waiting three weeks now for it. Yeah, it, it definitely seems like it's taking longer than either they planned or maybe even they hoped for. So. Yeah. Oh, your house looks great in um, birch and oak. Thank you. A nice coloured carpet too to delineate areas. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of something I uh, immediately knew I wanted to do too was put in the carpets, and that's uh, lapis. Just blocks uh, yes, um, actually, it, it, you won't know it in your texture pack, but in my texture pack, I've got lapis as like different shades of blue tiles. Oh no, okay. you've got use Mises, don't you? Is that where I got it from? Um, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm use, I, I did use Mises. Um, I'm actually still using that uh, Sphinx or whatever at the moment. Oh right, yeah, 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 Sphinx, yeah, Sphinx, yeah. Um. But I know what you mean with Mises, yeah. I, I know how it looked with, with the uh, tile and all, which looked pretty good. Yeah, that's what it is at the moment. Now it's just all different shades of blue tiles, which looks really cool. I always think, oh, I, I've got to build a bathroom out of that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, at the moment, this is where I have all my food, of course, because it's the kitchen. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm very, uh, I wouldn't say I'm very ADD, but uh, I, I do like trying to keep things organized. So yeah, I, I yeah. find myself spending a lot of time adjusting things and uh, this is something else I built off camera as well it's uh this is my bathroom actually where the, oh, bed right. the bedroom used to be oh yeah, nice nice cauldron yeah. toilet you know yeah and yeah. then you uh, flush and uh, <laughs> there you go <laughs> oh I love it yeah it's a shame you could put a piston um, shower in here as well yeah I say I thought about that too uh, and then I've got a little hidden chest over here underneath the plant. I used to actually have it as a plant, and uh, kind of my backup of uh, enchanted weapons, just kind of secret spot for them. <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice it. I walked right past it, hunting on it, and if you hadn't pointed it out. <laughs> uh, but with them shower things, if you just dig out one block nearby, you know, it doesn't run all over your house, and it looks looks great. You know. That, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. And. Uh, not, you know, the sandstone, I'm not sure, like, I like it on the inside because it kind of looks kind of like marble, even in some of the other texture packs. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I haven't decided what I want to do with the outside wall here because I don't, I don't necessarily like it in sandstone, but uh, it'll probably well, it'll be in wood or something, I don't know. Yeah, that's one of the reasons sometimes I consider building, like, two thick block thick walls or something, so you can have different linings to different rooms. Right, right. Because, and like I, you said, uh, you, you know, it does... 
uh, protrude into this interior room, doesn't it? Yeah, and that's I actually kind of took that cue from you because yeah, I've started doing all my ceilings and floors that way, so that yeah, I can like I can put the carpet upstairs and then still keep the plank, you know, roof or whatever. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, I could always do that too. Just get rid of those blocks of glass there, and yeah, put an extra layer of wall there. So yeah, I can keep it wood on the outside, and then it can be sandstone on the inside there. Just makes doors a, l a little more difficult. That's all. Yeah. Oh, secret entrance. Yep. Uh, we'll we'll go down there in a second. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a lot more down there too, and uh, finally cleaned out that chest. It's it's been bugging me forever because it was just full of crap. So I kind of uh, adjusted it kind of with the essentials. I'm gonna keep a stack of uh, bone mill, stack of arrows, same type of stuff that you you know need when you're out exploring. You know, yeah. Qu quickly grab it and then go. Um, I enjoyed actually, watching you build this because I remember Nalo kept falling off the roof. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> many times, many times. Yeah. Um, this is actually a design, this bed here, I found on on uh, just watching a YouTube video, kind of where it steps up and then half slabs and combination with wool blocks. and. Yeah, it's very nice. It's like a little platform for it. Yeah, and I put it over here <coughs> so that the kind of the headboard doesn't block the windows. You can still get around behind it. Well, in the old days, I don't know whether it works, still works now with the different chests and everything, but in the old days, if you put chests behind the headboards of the bed, you know, it looked like a headboard to the bed because you only got the, the top lock part of the chest. The right. Root, uh, you know. I got gotcha. you. But, yeah, um, I had to play around with that. I haven't haven't played around with that <laughs> since then. Yeah, I think now this shrunk them down, it doesn't quite work the same. Yeah, I think maybe with the, with the open and closing animation, it might have changed a little bit. Yeah. you got a lovely view, though. Absolutely, that was the thing. I didn't want it back to the window because I didn't want it blocking any of the views. I presume will you have to sleep in the left, the, yeah, that one, the left hand that's, bed. That's usually the one I sleep in. <laughs> yeah, because otherwise it, it puts you out to the left of the bed, doesn't it? When it you're does. looking at the bed. You can actually. Um, jump oh, there's in a bed your, over here, yeah. Yeah, you'll jump in yours over there if you want to, that way you're bound there. <laughs> hey! Yep, and I can actually see you from here, that's pretty cool. Can you? Yeah. I don't there know what I like you seeing me in bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, fine. You can put you up a wall. <laughs> it, but at least you do have the uh, sunrise on that side. So, uh, or sorry, yeah. the uh, sunset out your window. Oh, there's a nice little cottage out there. What's mm -hmm. that? That's uh, the, my chicken house, my chicken coop. Oh, cool. Um, wow, yeah. somebody actually used birch for something. Yeah, I, I used it as the corner post. I couldn't think of what else to do with it. I, I'm, yeah, that's all your gear, so yeah, you're welcome to grab it if you want to. Oh, thank you. No problem. Um, yeah, well, I'll just put it on and it helps. <laughs> yeah, if we find some mobs, it'll help. <laughs> <laughs> and a bucket of water, wow. Yep, I, I remembered. Um, oh, yeah, one of my favorite things. Just cover up my exposed brain. <laughs> I will say in this texture pack, I mean, you we really do look like we're, uh, you know, some sort of serial killers or something. I mean, <laughs> it's like you're wear wearing a welding mask and you've got uh, leather straps that go around your head and everything's jointed and yeah, it looks pretty interesting. Yeah, it's it's a lovely pack actually. I, I was yeah. experimenting with that when I found the mage seed, and it's. Um, it is nice. Mm -hmm. I just had problems a little bit with the wood contrasting with the um, uh, workbench and chests, but yours seems different. Is it customizable? Or um, it yeah, just... all of them. Yeah, all of them. You can actually. I mean, you know, I've I use GIMP sometimes to go in and edit each individual one, and then that uh, program that Narlo found. He found that one that will allow you to load up two packs at one time, and then you can swap uh, tiles yeah. out from any of them. So. Yeah, Minecraft texture pack editor. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, it's uh, very nice. And we do have roof access as well. I kind of well, you can that way if you want to go ahead and take a quick look around the entire land, and then we'll go check out some other stuff. And you just let me know whenever you need to go as well. I don't want you to run over. Oh, uh, <coughs> oh no, I'm it's fine. Some, okay. I'm I'm fine. Um, she's. Uh, she won't be back until about a half eight tonight, and, and luckily tonight uh, she wants to do her own stir fry, so I'm not cooking tonight, just for okay. myself. <laughs> so. Alrighty. Oh yes, beautiful. I love your gr how green your lands are. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I, I still, at some point as well, I'm gonna make a boat and just ride down the river. I wanna see, you know, cause it starts over here in the swamp and I just wanna ride it all the way. Cause it, it seems to go pretty much all the way around my land, so. Have you mapped your area? I have not yet. Have no. not made a map and ma mapped it out yet. What's that one that's straight ahead of us? Where there's a blue sheep next to the uh, that's the uh, is it hole. That's the uh, cow farm. Yeah. The, oh, right. uh, in uh, multiplayer, they're a little bit. The animals are kind of glitchy too. So they have a habit of jumping on their each other's backs, and even with a fence post up, one tall fence, they'll sometimes jump on each other's backs and glitch over the fence. So. We found either you have to run pretty much two high fences, or you can dig a hole that's like one or two in the ground, and then put a fence above it, and it kind of keeps them from getting out. So, yeah, yeah. So, so that so they do look a little bit uh, funny in multiplayer. Well, they do that in single player. They'll jump on each other if there's too many of them in the area. <clears throat> I gotcha. Yeah, they'll kind of push yeah. each other through. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you've got desert as well out here as well. You've got everything around here. Yeah. This yeah. this was an ideal seed. I've got uh, or location in in the seed is yeah i've got i had a nice forest over here i had a uh, pine forest off